next to them. Like, what am I doing? Oh, in background. Oh, in the background. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable. So, falafel. What do you enjoy doing most in the whole world? Probably uh, eating and playing backgammon. Together or always separately? Separate. Different times. Do you like going out to places to eat or just like food? No, I usually go out to eat. <laughs> oh, huh. Ah. Mm. Very good. I don't eat falafel like I used to. Just like once a month I eat it now. I used to eat it every day. Now it's once a month. Not particular on things, you know, on like what kind of food I eat. I just love food in general. If you take backgammon away from me, I'd be lost. If you take food away from me, I'd die. So it's, a, you know, it's pretty close to the same for me. I've always enjoyed playing games. So the love for games is natural for me. Oh, wow, it feels great. Oh, why am I going <laughs> up? Why am I moving up, though? Can't I say down? Down? You want it down? Yeah, yeah I don't mind that. Just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see. Well, it moves me up. Like, but that's okay. You and then it goes me down. Level? Yeah, yeah. Very good, good, good. Very good. Thank you. Another grape? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The point of playing games is, is that you want to play well and you want to figure out how to play well. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it interesting. Who do you think is the strongest band for the game player? Obviously, after yourself. <laughs> Well, that's really a nice compliment. Um, well, I never really considered myself as the best per se. Uh, you know, obviously I was able to compare myself to others. Um, I think, I think true talent and true, like, play, overall play, would definitely be Gus Hansen. I think he's proven it this week so far. And it's something that I've always known as I've watched them over many, many years already and been able to pick up some things oh, so from him as I've watched them. So in terms of a role model for me, back then, he, he was certainly a role model for me, still is. Um, it's interesting to watch him play and the way that he figures things out over the board. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess him. There is a few others as well, but like of course, a good my good friend Sander. Uh, Sander is also in a very special category, a bit different from Gus, but just as special. So you know, it's sort of like it's close between those two for me. What would you do if you weren't a professional background player? I've been trying to figure that out for many years now. Um, I don't know. It's uh, I, you know, I, I thought about that. I, I, and I, just, you know, decided that if I wasn't doing that, I'd find something else to do. I don't know what that would be. I just was confident in myself that I would have found something else. I don't know what that would be though. Okay, so maybe you didn't know you were going to go down this route that your life took. It just kind of mm. happened. And... Right. It wasn't planned or anything. It just happened that way because. I was sort of like desperate and I needed like, you know, a place to live and so forth and, you know, and just evolved over time. I think now it would be harder to like try and make a living than say 10 years ago or so. The game has changed. Um, it's more about the tournament back in and now and it's not about like the money games, you know, it's a different different approach. Most of the players in tournaments are not eager to come and play for money. They're eager to just compete in the tournament. What's the best way to play backgammon then? Uh, the best way? With an open mind. That's how, that's how I improved my level of play. I, oh, thank you. When I realized that there were some things 
that weren't clear to me, that I thought that some things were just biased, where I was... Usually people always tend to overrate themselves mm -hmm. and exaggerate. Oh, thanks, Ray. Um, I discovered those things, and I decided that it was best to be humble. And that would give one, you know, that would have give, give me a better chance to learn. And after okay. I changed my attitude, I was able to actually get better. So how are but you a lot of people don't know that. It's a secret. <laughs> don't tell that to anyone. How are you playing that in this tournament? This tournament so far? Well, I pretty much have uh, one more round to go, one more match. And then I qualify for the final eight tomorrow. Last year, I actually lost one this at this same round, just before I made it. So this will be like some sort of a redemption for me. But it'd really be nice to win uh, the Nordic this year. I've never won it. I've competed now three times, so maybe the third time is a charm. Well, I hope you can get your redemption. I hope so. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> Freddy. Oh, that was good. Oh. Another one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> how many can you get in, huh? I have to. We should do a competition with um, grapes. How many grapes you can eat at one time? Oh, Wait, no. don't, don't, to... don't, 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 don't. Just keep no, them there, don't. No, yeah, no. <laughs> That's enough. No. All right. We're good.